What's going on people of the internet? And welcome to Stevie News. So these past couple of weeks on, this, on the internet has been quite beefy if I'm being honest. We had a Trisha Paytas person talking smack about the Vlogger Squad. Then we had KSI vs Logan Paul, where Logan Paul's best insult of calling KSI is that he had no dick. Stand up, oh, bro. Where'd your personality go? No, no, I Where'd it go? It's non-existent. Easy. Like this your is dick. Easy. Hey, JJ has no dick. JJ has no dick. I think this insult was something we said in year seven. So I think they're delayed in humor a bit, aren't they? But I'm going to talk about Onision last, right? Because I have some news about this. And thing that's going to be quite surprising if you don't know already. If you could follow my social medias, that would be absolutely amazing. If you could uh, follow me and uh, DM me what you think about this video and anything. Yeah, that'd be sick. Anyway, let's continue with the video because we're getting a little bit off guard now, aren't we? Everyone knows, well, I assume everybody knows, Trisha Paytas did something a bit naughty a few uh, weeks ago. You know what I mean by a little bit naughty, don't you? So basically, this is what's been happening. She's been, uh... Filming herself having some, some pleasurable events with a stick. All right, okay, that's the easiest way without getting age restricted. Okay, and then she starts an OnlyFans. Right, this is okay. This is natural. She starts an OnlyFans, and everyone else does it now. Okay, I've seen a load of people do do OnlyFans. I should start an OnlyFans, shouldn't I? Because OnlyFans are sick. I'd probably only make about ten pound a week. The thing is, if I, if I did start an OnlyFans, you realised that what remains private is out there already then. So that's not really great, is it? That's not really great. Let's talk about Trisha Paytas and the Vlog Squad. Okay, so Trisha Paytas recently said something about the Vlog Squad. Someone in the Vlog Squad anyway. I don't know who it is. Someone apparently walked out of a shop or cafe, whatever you want to call it, and didn't bring their drink, all right? Trisha starts ch chatting shit about them, saying how... They were scared of her, they didn't want to talk to her. I mean, what do you expect? In those type of situations, why would you want to sit by someone you hate who's talking shit about you on a daily basis? Why would you want to put up with their behaviour? You don't, you don't, do you? So that's why you probably walked out. I understand that. Let's play the clip anyway. There's, there's no even need to like say hello or anything. But the fact that you left like a little punk, like you left your drink and your sandwich? And you can't miss it. Maybe you're scared. Yeah, see? So, Trisha can be quite bitchy, if I'm being honest. She can be quite bitchy. I mean, I thought Tana Mojo was bitchy, but no, I was completely and utterly wrong. I was shown a different path, wasn't I? I mean, there's, there's loads of people who have signed up to watch her uh, naughty stuff on the internet, isn't there? I wouldn't pay 50 quid to watch someone pleasing themselves, okay? That, that, that's just out of the ordinary. If you didn't know, a year ago or so, Trisha Paytas fell out with her beloved boyfriend. Do you know what this argument was all over about? It was all about Tana Mojo, David Dobrik and Jason Nash talking about having a threesome. Alright, th th there is no... Right, this is just a joke, right? This, this was just a joke. And she takes it so seriously. I mean, she jokes all the time, right? She, she says she jokes all the time about having threesomes, right? And now this. So if Jason says something, she gets really offended. If she says something, Jason doesn't get offended. All right, that, no, this, this works. This is a perfect relationship. We'd love to have relationships like this, wouldn't we? I mean, I would. I most certainly would. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to offend people on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, that's working. That's working. Right, so I forgot to mention about Onision, right? How the hell do you pronounce his name? Onision? Onision? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. There have been many people who have come forward about this guy, uh sexting little girls on the internet. It's bad, it's disgusting, it's horrible. And that's exactly what he said on Twitter. He privated his Twitter to stop anybody from retweeting, you know, the usual. I was investigator Luke and I had a little close look at it, right? And this is what I found on the screen right now. I was very annoyed because my favourite YouTuber, Nisyon, <laughs> he blocked me. Yeah, Anision, uh, please forgive me. I, I, I did not mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> you brought this pressure on. You brought it on. Right, anyway, this is the end of Stevie News. If you would like another episode, please hit that subscribe button. That like button. Also, don't forget to turn the post notifications on. 
to receive notifications of my videos in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for all the support recently. It's been absolutely amazing. Anyway, peace out, stay awesome, have a great day, and I shall see you in the next video. We will fly above the sky.